survive if I leave full of hoes huh? The pounds, the tons, the white, the keys Can't nobody tell me I ain't living like a G Peace, peace, y'all. What's the word, man? You already know what time it is. You know what it is, and you definitely know who it is, man. It's your boy Hood and all that, and you are now locked in with me on another episode of Hip Hop with Hood, where we discuss everything hip hop. I right, look, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Before we get into today's episode, I want to let you guys know that I will be dropping a mixtape on 420 called Most Wanted, where I will be allowing eight different up and coming artists to display their talents by placing their hottest records on this mixtape. That will be released on my personal audio Mac page and it will be promoted via this vlog series as well as all of my social media accounts. So if you're interested in getting a slot on that tape or if you're looking for more info on it, you could contact me at the email that's located in the description box below this video. All right, let's get into it. Check it. Drake is dropping a new single tonight called Search and Rescue. He released a snippet to this record the other day that kind of got everyone talking about it because it has a sample of Kim Kardashian on it. Now, everyone is like, yo, is he trolling Kanye? He's reigniting the beef and all this other type of stuff. And Drake's pops came out and denied that he's um, trolling Kanye. But you know how it go. And today he released the artwork for that record. You feel me? And on the artwork, you see a young lady with a motorcycle helmet on. All you see is her eyes. He's standing behind her with a with a helmet on as well. But everyone is swearing up and down. It looks like Kim. Now, if you ask me, I don't think it looks anything like Kim. But you know how people are. They want to create different scenarios in their minds and shit like that to fit their narrative. So that's the talk right now. Now, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you guys think the same, but I don't know. But on top of that, Jim Jones did an interview with Bootleg Kev, and he said some pretty, I'm not going to say outlandish things, but it said, he said some things that kind of surprised me when speaking about Drake, right? He said that Drake has to be put in the top two rappers of all time. You know what I'm saying? And he said he, he belongs right on the same level as Hove. He said within the last 12 years, Drake has put music out that hit, and he's talking about hit on the same level as Tupac. Now, I can't agree with that, but, you know, um, he did say that Drake's music can be played all around the world and everyone knows it in English. Now, I could I could agree with that, but the Pac thing, I don't know about that. Um, what do you guys think, though? Do you think Drake should be in the top five of all time? And screw top five. You think he should be number two, like uh, Jim Jones said? Or you think he bugging out? Let me know what you think. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Download my new single called No Matter Feature Inside Ready K. Check out the video because it, it is, excuse me, it is out right now. Check out the legendary video, which is the first visual off of the new EP that's dropping on the 17th called Legendary, produced by Track Legend Beats. Check it out. And I definitely uh, appreciate all the support from you guys. All right, salute. My range out to Rover, immaculate paper stacking it. That bag I was in, I'm backing it, track attacking it. Got handgun beams on case, the long gauge, twist you like dude that tackled Dave Chappelle on stage.